Alrighty, well, it was certainly a wet day for many of us across Southeast Louisiana and Southern Mississippi. Now the rain kept our temperatures below average when we got up into the upper 80s. Today we're supposed to be in the lower 90s, so we were a few degrees short of that, and we picked up 1.43 inches of rainfall at the Kenner Airport. So that's a significant amount of rainfall in that area. All uh, right now, temperatures are in the upper 70, lots of clouds around, and this is what we're going to see as we go through the evening, heading into the overnight under mostly cloudy conditions, and we may see a stray shower or two. There's a look at your temperature, 76 in Slidell. We're looking at 77 in Kenner, upper 70s in Bell Chase, Laplace, and also Raceland. And we're still in the lower 80s in Gonzales, upper 80s in Bure. So again, still tracking some light showers across the area, but you can see things are continuing to move to the east and they're moving. So that's what we like to see. Still looking at a few pockets of heavy rainfall again in a few locations, pretty isolated, but things will continue to improve as we go through the rest of the evening and I am still tracking a few isolated downpours really along our coastal areas. We're looking at Port Fouchon and a few uh, heavy downpours near Triumph and that's about it. Uh, tonight temperatures are expected to fall into the lower to mid 70s on the North Shore and middle to upper 70s on the South Shore. Plenty of clouds and winds continuing out of the South between three to eight miles per hour. So as we go through the rest of the evening heading into tonight, mostly cloudy conditions. Again, this model trying to pop a few isolated showers, but then as we begin our Sunday, many of us starting off dry, but we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions and we get that daytime heating ton of tropical moisture over the area and that is going to fire up scattered showers and thunderstorms and then we will have the chance to see a few downpours within those thunderstorms. I am calling for 60% coverage for showers and thunderstorms through your Sunday afternoon and then Sunday night looking mostly dry under mostly cloudy skies. Now Monday day may be a different story for some of us here. A few showers may pop up across the area, so some of us may see a wet commute in to work and also Monday afternoon. Once again, we start to see things flaring up a few downpours possible, which may lead to localized flooding. Of course, we'll be watching them very closely, but things should start improving as we head through your Monday uh, evening. A few uh, showers possible along our coastal areas Monday night, but many of us will have the opportunity to dry out. So that's great news. The rain though will keep our temperatures below average again we're supposed to be in the lower 90s for this time of the season and notice um, forecasting 80s throughout the rest of the work week so that would be actually nice we won't have to deal with that intense heat quick check what's going on in the tropics First off, there are no uh, tropical threats to our area, but we're still monitoring potential tropical cyclone floor four. It is a mouthful, but PTC four, we're still looking at it is messy. It is unorganized because it is fighting wind shear. So this thing becoming Danielle, which is the next name on the list, unlikely. It is running out of time as it continues to close on in in northeastern Mexico and southern Texas, but it will bring tropical storm conditions to that area as we go through tonight. But again, not an issue for us here. As you can see, it's going to continue to weaken as it gets closer and closer to land here. And there's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. Again, it is going to bring gusty winds and also a heavy rainfall to those areas as we go through tonight and overnight hours and it's called PTC4. So again, the National Hurricane, Se Hurricane, Hurricane Center uh, can issue tropical storm warnings along those coastal areas. Now that's not the only area I'm watching. There is a tropical wave, an area of showers and thunderstorms slowly coming off the coast of Africa. You can see it right there. Super unorganized, but the National Hurricane Center has highlighted this area over the Atlantic Basin. Not going to do much in the next 48 hours, but as we go through the next five days, there is a low chance that it could potentially have some type of uh, some type of tropical characteristics. Of course, we'll watch that long term, but again, not a threat to our area. And just a quick recap: we've had uh, three named storms. For the season, our last name storm was Tropical Storm Colin, which formed back in July, which is actually the beginning of July, July 3rd. So it's been well over a month uh, since we've dealt with a named storm. And again, that's our next name on the list. Uh, and that's the recap there. So here's a look at your seven day forecast for tomorrow. A 60% coverage for showers and thunderstorms, temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. And as we head into our Monday, our Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms. It's not going to rain all day, but many of us will see the rain and temperatures holding steady in the middle to upper 80s daily.